guys welcome back to my channel welcome to the vlog if you guys are new here hi i'm caitlin i'm 24 and i film a lot of fashion lifestyle and productivity content today is actually wednesday it's wednesday may 18th and it's an obviously in the middle of the work day so i thought i would start off the vlog here which honestly i think is perfect because i can show you guys like my work week for a few days and then also what we're doing on the weekend because we have some fun things planned that i think you guys are really going to like um i just made my daily plan for the day i don't really use use the time blocking side i just have my to-do list over here honestly it's all pretty much just work stuff um but i do want to get a workout in today i do have a kroger pickup and i want to finish a youtube video i'm editing my what's on my iphone right now and i need to find time to finish that today on top of work but we actually have the kroger pickup today to get some food for our dog maya because the older she gets she just will not eat like real like not real dog food but like the dry like kibble dog food like she likes like real whole foods and we looked into the farmer's dog but honestly you guys that's like 300 dollars a month and it's like that subscription service that sends you like dog food every month and it's like real dog food made from like rice celery carrots but it's just it's honestly it's so expensive and obviously if she's not gonna eat like we will do that but that's kind of like last resort so we got a Kroger pickup for her with some things that she can eat there's like ground turkey carrot celery rice and we're gonna try to make our own dog food at home we're not gonna like that's not gonna be the only food that she eats because we are not dog nutritionists I do not want to be responsible for that but it's good to kind of mix into the food that she already has so that's the plan for today exciting stuff we're gonna make some homemade dog food but some other things that we have planned for the week um i have like a little target and amazon haul to show you guys i only got like a few things but i waited to open them until i was vlogging so we could show you guys on camera um tomorrow actually i'm setting up my new office desk which is really exciting i did get a new desk it is a standing desk because we just were always in our office like all day every day we sit so much so it's time to upgrade to get a standing desk so that came in the mail so we're gonna set that up tomorrow so i'm really excited to show you guys that um we're gonna try a new coffee shop i have a new lemonade like a detox lemonade to show you guys i posted it over on instagram and you guys really liked it so i wanted to show it on youtube as well um, what else? On Saturday, we're going to an escape room with Devin's family, and honestly, I'm nervous. Like, I don't know. It is 1 o'clock on a Wednesday afternoon. I need to get back to work, but I just was so busy this morning that I'm just now starting to vlog now, so I just wanted to say hi. Welcome to the vlog. I really hope you guys enjoy it. I think it's going to be a good one, so I'm excited to take you guys through my week this week, but... I need to get back to work. I will check in with you guys when I get some lunch or maybe at the end of the workday around five-ish. But for now, we have some work to do. We just went and got the Kroger pickup order for Maya's food. Are you ready to have some yummy dog food? Huh? Are you ready? Mommy and Daddy are going to make you your own dog food with yummy food and not, and not gross doggy food. So we got, we did the Kroger pickup. They always put everything in plastic bags, which is annoying, but it actually saves us a lot of money just doing the pickup rather than just like going in and buying a bunch of things that we don't need. So. We got some bell peppers. Devin just turned on the water, if you guys can hear that. Um, we got some ground turkey for her. So we didn't really want to do chicken or ground beef. It's more expensive and this is a little bit leaner. So we got her a few pounds of ground turkey. You know it's for you, don't you? You know it's for you. <laughs> Um, we got some potatoes because I'm actually going to use this for dinner tonight And then it also said that potatoes were good for dogs, too We got some more olive oil because we had just ran out. This is the olive oil That we like to get um, Is a simple truth organic olive oil and then we got some turmeric. This is actually not for her This is for a detox lemonade that I'm going to show you guys the recipe um, typically we get the Simple Truth Organic one, but they were sold out, so they replaced it with the Kroger brand. One bell pepper. This is why I hate doing the Kroger pickup though. I love it, but I hate they use so much plastic. Like there's no reason why the green needed to be separated from the yellow. Um, we got, oh, they separated all the colors. We have some yellow bell peppers. 
We have some zucchini for Devin and I and also for Maya because zucchini is also really good for dogs apparently. I never realized how many vegetables were like actually good for dogs and apparently spinach is too. So we are going to make her a little concoction, homemade dog food with these ingredients. And I know someone is gonna be so excited. Huh, are you so excited? Because you need to eat your food. Smell yummy? Yeah. <laughs> Good morning guys, it is the next day. It is Thursday morning, it's about nine o'clock right now. I'm actually sitting in the Starbucks parking lot. We need groceries so bad and I ran out of like milk and just like pretty much everything that I need to make coffee. So I was like, you know what? We're running to Starbucks this morning, I need a coffee. So I'm sitting in line right now at Starbucks. I forgot how busy Starbucks is in the morning. I typically go around lunchtime and it is like, the line is like 20 minutes long. I'm actually next to order, but I just like went at the worst time, <laughs> at like nine o'clock when everyone's getting their coffee. Hang on, actually, I gotta order. Um, hi, could I have a grande uh, vanilla latte, please, with whipped cream hot? Yeah, grande vanilla latte with whipped cream hot. Anything else? And then I'll also do a grande pike place black coffee. Anyways, yesterday really did not go as planned at all. Devin and I just got so caught up with work. Um, and we ended up working until like 11 p.m. Like we took a break, we went to BB Bop and got some dinner, and then we ended up working until like 11 or midnight which honestly was really good like we really needed to just sit down and like knock a lot of work out but it, like i said it obviously wasn't very fun to vlog so you guys did not miss anything if you guys are new here Devin is my boyfriend we've been together for going on nine years in july which is insane we've been together since high school but we have our own online amazon business so we are self-employed which we quit our corporate jobs last year and it's going really well it's doing really good but it's just stressful <laughs> like having your entire income rely on you like i don't know you know what i mean like obviously like a job like you have to go to work to make money but it's like if the business isn't doing well one month like that directly affects our income whereas like a job like who cares you know how the company not who cares how the company's doing but you guys know what i mean like the company has their biggest month or their lowest month like you just get paid the same it's definitely a learning experience it's really exciting like i don't want this to be negative but it's just it's a lot and i'm basically just saying all that to say you guys did not miss anything. After we get coffee, I'm gonna actually go back and edit because I need to edit my What's On My iPhone video. I'm like halfway done with it and I wanted to have it up yesterday for you guys on Wednesday. Um, and that just, it did not happen. I had a, a million other things to do. So that needs to go up today for sure. So I need to go back and edit that. I'm gonna set up the new desk and it just should be overall a lot better day. The dog food was a success though. That was a big success of yesterday. Maya loved the dog food. I told her, I'm like, I feel like the first half of this vlog is gonna be all about making homemade dog food for our dog, but um, it was a success. She loved it. I think we're just gonna stick to like the dry dog food diet and then adding in that extra on top. You go. Thank Have you, you too. We're back home. I'm gonna do a little haul because I got some stuff in the mail. I got this package. We have some stuff from Amazon and I don't know if I included it or not, but I just got a grande um, vanilla latte with whipped cream from Starbucks and then Devin just got a grande pike place. This one is from Youth Skincare, so they actually sent this over to me. I didn't purchase it. So thank you so much to Youth for sending this over. I'm so excited to see what's in here. I love getting new skincare. Oh my gosh, they have a little personalized card in here with my name on it. This is so cute. Okay, let's open it up and see what's in here. It says, Dear Kaylin, we are so excited for you to try these products. Take some time to pamper yourself. You deserve it. Okay, so we have a firming neck cream. I'm actually so excited to try this. I've never tried like a dedicated cream for your neck. I just use my moisturizer. So this is their neck cream. It has green tea, opaline, and vitamin C. Then we have a balancing facial toner with chamomile and two other ingredients. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce them because honestly, I don't know how to say them, but we have a facial toner here. It's hypoallergenic. We also have a retinol serum. You guys know I've been including retinol in my eye cream, like kind of like slowly incorporating it into my skincare routine as I get older. So I'm actually really excited to try this. Thank you once again to Youth for sending over these products. Like I said, I've never tried this brand, but I'm super excited to test them out. This is not sponsored. They were just so kind and wanted to send me over some skincare. And I think it's so cute that they also included 
a personalized card. Okay, next let's do Amazon because I ordered these tank tops and I've been like dying to open them up and I wanted to wait until I was vlogging. I got some sunglasses, which I already opened up. I'll show you guys them in a second. What is this? Um, oh yeah, I forgot. I got more Pilates socks because I've been doing Pilates a lot more lately and I needed more than one pair of socks. And then I also got a set of three tank tops. The sun keeps going out, so I'm sorry if the lighting keeps changing. Also, my hair is so frizzy because I'm so hot. And Devin thinks it's freezing in here and it's like 74 degrees. Anyways, I got these sunglasses because I've been wanting a pair of sunglasses like these. I actually had some from Amazon, I think like two years ago, and I don't know where they went, so I ordered more. I don't know how I feel about them. I did already try them on, so comment down below if you guys think I should keep them or return them. I feel, this is what they look like. I'll try them on in a second. I feel like they're a little, like, LA almost. Like, I feel like if you wore these in LA, you would definitely fit in, but I don't know about for Ohio. Um, but they're by the brand Sosos or Sohos. This is what the brand looks like. They had really, really good reviews on Amazon. They have a bunch of different um, sunglass styles. So if you guys are looking for good, affordable sunglasses, I don't, obviously I don't know. I mean, the quality is pretty good for the price. I'm just not sure about how the style looks on me. So this is what they look like. What do we think? I don't know. Like, I just feel like they're so dark. And I just can't tell if they're like cute and trendy or if I look like I belong in the three blind mice. So comment down below what you guys think. I think they're only like $15, which is not bad. Like I said, they're pretty good quality for the price. I just can't decide if I like them or not. Obviously, I'd probably wear them with my makeup done. But comment down below what you guys think because I honestly, I cannot tell. All right, now for the tank tops. I actually saw Rachel Vinn order these and they look so good on, so I wanted to order some too. I've been trying to slowly upgrade my um, like workout and gym clothes because typically I just wear like my old high school t-shirt and leggings and that's fine, but like sometimes, you know, I feel like you just wanna look a little nicer, a little bit more put together. So I ordered these and honestly, you can wear these like outside of the gym too. So it comes with a white one, a gray one and a black one i'll obviously i'll try these on so that way you guys can see but they're just like these little tank tops i've not even tried them on this is my first time seeing them too so this is what they look like they're almost like a high neck tank i'm not going to try them on right now so i'll insert like a little clip right here of me trying them on so that that way you guys can see them right now i'll of course have these linked down below i think this was 20 dollars for the pack of three or maybe it was less than that honestly i think it was like 15 or $18 for a pack of three. And they are very thin, but I mean, honestly, like they're pretty good quality for the price. They're really stretchy. All right, and then the last place is Target. So once again, I got a little workout top. I've been eyeing this one and it is so pretty. So I got this really like light purple color. They also had it in a teal color. It is long sleeve, which I love. I don't have a nice long sleeve like workout top so it is long sleeve i saw this in target and i thought it was the prettiest swimsuit ever especially with a tan i fell in love with it as soon as i saw it i was like oh my gosh like this is so pretty so this is what the top looks like it's this like snake skin print which typically isn't my style but i feel like the colors in here are just so pretty they're like a really pretty like kind of like teal blue color we have some nude some cream some black just all the colors together with a tan, I feel like it's gonna look so good. So I got the bottoms in a size medium. I've not tried the bottoms on yet. I did try the top on. And I got the top in a size small and it fits me perfectly. These are what the bottoms look like. They're high-waisted. They're a little bit cheekier, but they're not like too cheeky. They have a little like cinch or like scrunch in the butt area. And then the sides do tie too, so that way you can make it a little bit tighter or looser. So these are what the bottoms look like. But you guys, when I saw this, I fell in love with that. I was like, that is one of the prettiest swimsuits that I've seen in a while. It's really good quality. But yeah, that's my little haul. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. It is about 10 o'clock right now. I need to go upstairs and get editing because I want to have this video up by three and I have a decent amount of editing to do. But it's going to be a good day. We're going to get a lot of stuff done. We're going to be productive. We're going to get a new desk. We have Pilates tonight at six. I also did just make a nail appointment for tomorrow because my nails are literally like halfway grown out and they really really need done but we're gonna do that tomorrow not today because we have too much stuff to do but it's gonna be a good thursday happy thursday i'm taking a break it is 2 47 and i have not had a single thing to eat today i think i'm just gonna make a bagel we have some dave's killer 
blueberry bagels. I really like their everything bagels with cream cheese, but they didn't have those, so we just had the blueberry ones. If you guys wanna go show some love on that video, I would love you forever. I'd really appreciate it because this video is just... And thank goodness. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> and in your Crocs. <laughs> so this is the desk. It is by Flexi Spot. This video is not sponsored by Flexi Spot, but they did send me this desk. I'm potentially working with them um, in an upcoming video. So they did send this over to me. We're gonna set it up, test it out. Like I said, it is standing, and then I'm pretty sure this is the one with the glass top. We'll see when we open it. But I'm so excited. I've had my desk over there for five years i want to say now four or five years why are you giving such dirty looks in the camera she is I just got ready for Pilates. I have to leave in like two minutes, so I'm kind of in a hurry, but I just threw my hair up in a ponytail. I decided to wear one of the tank tops because it is like 80 degrees outside and I do not want to wear that purple long sleeve, but this is my first time like trying them on. I know I like showed you guys them on earlier, but I hadn't like tried them on when I was talking about it. But you guys, I am like in love with these. They're absolutely worth the money. They're perfect. Such a good tank top for working out and just like every day. The white one's obviously a little bit see-through, but honestly like I don't mind just because I have my sports bra on, but the black and the gray ones are not see-through at all. So I love them so much. And then this is what the back looks like. I just have on my leggings and then on my new Pilates socks. I love these ones. They're so cute because they have the little crisscross on them. They feel kind of cheap though. Like they feel thin and like the sticky part doesn't feel that sticky so we'll see but um i think it was like two of them for 14 dollars, so that's really affordable for pilates socks so let's go have a workout i still did not finish the desk it is still in here like this is the current situation so i'm just gonna have to finish it tonight and then i'll show you guys what it looks like tomorrow because it's probably gonna be dark when i finish it but for now let's go get a workout in and that's kind of where I saw this integration fitting in is I like to do, I've done a few like healthy day in my life or so healthy vlog. Awesome, thank you so much, you too. Have a great weekend. You guys, that went so good. So good. Good morning guys, happy Friday. I just had the best call ever. I'm just, I'm so excited. I call with a brand today at 11.30. It's 11.50 right now. I just got off the phone with her and it went way better, honestly, than I could have ever expected. So she's actually like represents multiple brands. So she works with multiple brands, not just one. And she was like, you know what? I have another brand that I think, you know, that you would fit in really well with, that would really resonate with your audience. And she told me the brand. I have already know the brand and I was just, so it was perfect. That call knocked out two different brand deals for the month of June. I'm just so excited because one of my goals this year on my channel, I don't know if I already said this, was to sign more meaningful brand deals. As much as I love, you know, working with Princess Polly or White Fox or Loving Tan, one of my goals was to just really sign more meaningful brand deals and work with brands um, that you know really provide more value other than just clothing. And that's what these two brands are, so it's perfect. And I'm just, I'm really excited and they were super sweet. So I'm just waiting for approval. She said she would have approval back to me like for my rate and you know, like the contract and everything by one o'clock today for both brands. So I'm excited. You guys will see what brands they are, hopefully within the next, they'll be up in the month of June. So probably within the next like three weeks. All right, my camera died, so I had to switch the battery. But basically what I was saying is I would never, I know I always say this and people always say this, but I just feel like I have to say it. I would never work with a brand that like didn't align with what I believe in. And I would never promote something to you guys that like I wasn't personally using myself or like I didn't really like just because it's not worth it, right? Like one brand deal is not worth sacrificing, you know, my entire audience, like you guys always come first. So the fact that these two brands, I just, I'm so excited to work with. And I think that you guys are really going to like too, it just makes me so happy. So that was such a good way to start my Friday. It got me up early. I got ready for the day. I also stayed up late last night and I finished setting up my desk and I think it looks so good. So I'm going to show you guys my desk. I finished building it. 
we got everything on it is this the room behind me is still very messy because i just i don't know what to do with these so i'll show you guys that in a second but let me show you the desk okay so here's what the desk looks like it's obviously it's a little bit messy and then i'll explain these in a second but i love it so much this is where you actually like raise and lower it um the only issue is is i wasn't expecting to get a standing desk i don't just like didn't plan for it and so i hung these shelves above my computer and so when I raise my desk I have to bring my computer like super far forward which is kind of annoying but I can't really like take these shelves down because they have really big holes in the wall um so I'd have to get like a huge picture or something so I'm not sure what to do about that I think I'm just gonna have to like move my computer forward when I want to stand but that's what the desk looks like but the only thing you guys is that so my desk before was the two Ikea Alex drawers with like a tabletop on top of it I have, which the, the top's dirty just because it always has a tabletop on it, I have all of my makeup in here and then I also keep like all of my tech stuff in here too and like this one's full as well, like I don't know where the front of it is, this one's full too of just makeup, more makeup and then like I just keep like my office stuff in here. So. I have to figure out where to put everything in here and I'm kind of struggling with that because this doesn't have any storage besides just like the little drawer here which I have like my planner and bullet journal and stuff in so I have no clue um, I could put it in here but I don't think I can stack them tall. like I don't think they're gonna fit if I stack them tall enough because the shelves here too so if you guys have any recommendations of how to like where to put these or how to store everything in there i would really love to know i've always stored my makeup in my alex drawers so honestly i don't even know where to store makeup other than in here i don't know i'm also getting rid of that candle which is why it's out there and then we of course we have lovely mr hedgehog that is everywhere that maya is would you like to say hi no she's so tired this morning we had a storm last night and she did not sleep well so She's just not in the mood today, but happy Friday. I'm in such a good mood today. I also, I self tan last night and I left my tan on for five hours. It was a two hour express and it left me a little bit orange. So yeah, we're just going to have to ignore that. Um, we also have our nail appointment tonight. I have a nail appointment at five. These are what my nails look like now. I know I showed you guys them in the Starbucks parking lot, I think, but they're pretty grown out and they're like an almond pink shape. I think I'm going to get short square nails with like a really pretty like light see-through pink i'm not really sure yet i'll show you guys what i end up getting obviously but yeah it's just gonna be a really good day today i need to go get some work done i've pretty much done just like content work all morning it's time for amazon work now it's still friday we have to do some work but tomorrow will be fun it's the weekend but for now happy friday Okay, I'm gonna show you guys this spicy detox lemonade that I've been making for Devin and I almost every day. I did post it over on Instagram. A lot of you guys wanted to know like the exact proportion. So I'm gonna show you guys on here. It's really good. It almost tastes like one of those like immunity or like health, like little wellness shots that you take, except it's like an entire lemonade. I do put honey in it though to sweeten it up so it's not like super, super bitter. I do just need to make the little disclaimer. I am not a dietitian, nutritionist, health coach, anything. This is just literally what I googled. <laughs> so just got out of my nail appointment and I ran into the grocery store to get some stuff for dinner but you guys they look 
so good they look so much better i don't know if you can really see the color on camera but they're really pretty kind of like nude color like they're a little bit they're not white like they're nude i love them they look so much better my other ones were so outgrown and i decided instead of almond to go with coffin shape i asked her for a narrow square and she's like so coffin and i was like oh i guess that's what it is i love the almond on all of my fingers except my thumb like i just felt like my thumb was just like a little i don't know like with an almond nail it just was I don't know. I'm very happy with them. I love the way they look. The girl, one of the girls in there, she had the cutest bangs ever. And I'm like, I think I need my hair like that. They weren't like straight across. Like she had glasses on and she had like a few pieces in the front. And then they were kind of like a lot longer on the sides, but they weren't like straight across. It was very unique. Like her hair stood out rather than just like, you know, like one length. And I really, really want to do it. I haven't even addressed my hair in this video at all. If you guys watch my videos, you're probably like, girl, what happened to your hair? So I decided to do my hair on my own bougie on a budget i went to sally's and got the dye i didn't like get just like straight box dye i got the dye and then i got a developer mixed it together so that way it's a little bit better on your hair than just like box dye so it did go darker i love the color of it and then i decided to cut my bangs i think they look good like they're a little bit shorter than i was expecting but i really like them but if i've been touching my hair this entire video that is why just because i feel like they're a little bulky um like here i'll put the rest of my hair back like i just feel like they're a little bulky i even tried to like i don't know but yeah that's what they look like i mean of course they're not the best i'm not even gonna say they're good but i do feel like it adds a little bit of volume to my hair and i saved myself 200 dollars. so yeah that's the hair update that's the nail update i went to target and i got a big bottle of wine my friend demi told me about this wine and it's literally my new favorite brand i just always go to target and get this i don't know if they have it other places i don't think they have it at kroger um i don't know about any other grocery stores but it's so good it's california roots and this i don't know if you guys can see like this is huge it is one and a half liters so it's double the size of a regular bottle of wine this was 9.99 and typically i don't like super cheap wine just because they give me a headache but this one's super smooth i don't get any headaches it has a really high alcohol content which we love it is 13.5 percent i'm pretty sure all their wines are 13.5 percent because I don't like the taste of wine. I don't want to have to have four glasses just to, you know. So I personally would rather have a super strong wine and just cringe every time I take a drink and only have to have a glass or two. So this is what we got. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go home. We're gonna make some garlic butter steak and potatoes. We never have steak, so this is kind of like a little date night at home. We're getting a bottle of wine. We got some garlic bread. We're gonna have like a really nice dinner like the steak and potatoes. And yeah, it's gonna be a really good night. We're gonna watch Love is Blind. Devin and I are we're hooked on Love is Blind. Like Devin loves it too. Comment down below if you if there's any other shows like Love is Blind and the Ultimatum that you guys watch. I don't think The Bachelor is really gonna be up Devin's alley. Like he likes kind of like the experiments, um, the drama. I guess the bachelor's drama too, but like multiple guys and multiple girls not just like one guy and multiple girls or one girl and multiple guys but yes yeah, so i'm gonna go home put these groceries away we're gonna pour a glass of wine and have a good dinner did i have a hair on my face that entire time i was filming that clip Morning guys, happy Saturday. Devin and I just finished breakfast. We went and got first watch, which was so good. It's like the perfect Saturday morning breakfast when you're like a little hungover. So that was really good. I actually got up this morning at 9.30 and I went to a Pilates class. My Pilates class started at 9.30 and I'm honestly, I'm so proud of myself because the class started at 9.30. I got out of bed at nine o'clock this morning. So I had like 10 minutes to get ready drive there and we made it on time i was this close like this close from not going but i'm glad i did i feel so much better so it like got me up and moving for the day but i wanted to show you guys the target shirt that i did not show you the other day because i wore this to pilates today this was like my first official time wearing it and you guys it is so good i'm definitely gonna go get like every color let me not have my laundry right here um but yeah 
this is what it looks like it is so cute on it is the perfect length i like how it's like if you want it longer you can but like you can kind of scrunch it up and it stays since it's a little bit more form-fitting so this is kind of how i wear it the color is so pretty it does come in other colors too and then it also has thumb holes like how cool are these like this is just such a good top like i said it was 24 dollars. it's definitely worth the money this is what the back looks like it's pretty simple but yeah i'm definitely gonna get like every color in this because i love it and it's super cute but i wanted to show you guys this because i never showed it when i went to pilates last time because i wore the tank tops but i wanted to get more like long sleeves just because sometimes you know you don't always want the armpits out, so this is nice on those days. I love it. I'll link it down below for you guys. Anyways, that was my morning. I'm about to get ready here in probably like an hour, an hour and a half because we have the escape room today, which like I said earlier, like I think I said this before, I'm kind of nervous about it. Devin's like, what if we can't escape? I'm like, I don't know like how it works, but it's like a um, museum themed one. So like we're trying to find the missing or like what art piece I think is... A replica and not like the actual design i'm not really sure so that's what we're doing later today i need to edit and i also need to figure out what to do with um all of my makeup outfit of the day until we have to go this is not my t-shirt this is devin's t-shirt why do other people's clothes just feel so much more comfier than your own like devin hates he hates when i wear his clothes so i'm gonna walk downstairs and he's gonna be like why are you wearing that but it's just so comfy we just got some packages delivered so i thought i'd show you guys i got my function of beauty shampoo and conditioner and then my curology but no one asked but i thought i'd show you guys what i use for shampoo and conditioner so we do use function of beauty i just i don't know i find it works best with my hair and devin really likes it too a lot of shampoo and conditioners i feel like like really weigh down my hair but i really like this one this isn't sponsored or anything i just like got it in the mail i also like how it has like your name on it so this one i don't know if you guys can see it says function of kaylin this is my hair profile it's also really nice because you can change like what's in your shampoo and conditioner based off of like your hair goals so i have my profile as wavy fine and oily and then my goals are anti-frizz color protection hydrate shine and strengthen and then i get light lavender fragrance i really don't like any like fragrance in my skincare or hair care or anything but i do get a light lavender fragrance and it smells so good and then i got my curology delivered this is honestly i just canceled my curology because i love curology but they just send you way too much of everything like i don't need like this sent to me every single month you know so i already have like three of these in my closet just waiting to be used so i canceled it until i'm ready to like restart again but i have the moisturizer cleanser and the serum and then they also send you a little lip balm i think the lip balm sucks to be honest but um i use the cleanser and the serum the most this is what's in the serum honestly i don't know they just customize it to you know your skin's needs but i don't really know any of the other ingredients besides niacinamide but yeah i thought i'd show you guys that we got our curology our function of beauty um so yeah a function of beauty if you want to sponsor me I would love that so much because I love your products. But yeah, a little skincare and hair care haul that nobody asked for in case you guys were curious. We are on the way. We were running super late, so I didn't have time to like show you guys what I was wearing. But I just did some super, super natural makeup. I had 20 minutes to completely get ready. I had to take a body shower, do my hair, makeup, and pick out an outfit. So I just did really natural makeup. I just threw, or I just like straightened my hair a little bit. It's like pouring out. It just started storming. I'm wearing this Essentials sweatshirt, and then I have on some yoga pants, new balances, and we have a coffee to go. So it should be fun. Of course, let you guys know how it is, but I'm excited and nervous, but hopefully it's fun. Hopefully we do good. We did it, you guys. We broke out. We had three minutes left to go, so you get an hour, and we broke out with three minutes left. That was honestly so much harder, we were just talking about, like, than we expected. Like, we had to get six different hints. There were seven of us. It was really fun, though. If you guys haven't ever done an escape room, like, we definitely want to go back. I think it'd be so fun to do, like, the different themes. Um, but it's fun because, like, it's actually, like, enjoyable, but it also makes you think. So, that was a good one. I'm going to wrap up the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, it was enjoyable. I will get better at filming these week in my life. I just... It was a really busy week, but I'm glad I at least got to film it for you guys. So if you guys are new here, please make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.